then I kind of got distracted because I was trying to take sexy photos of me. I feel like you should know my feedback because this just inconveniences me, the customer. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> hi, it is about three in the morning. I was doing my workout challenge and I just didn't want to forget. I wanted to nap, but I didn't, I did it. And I have a dentist appointment in the morning. I gotta go to bed. But then I kind of got distracted because I was trying to take sexy photos of me and it's getting harder to do because, well, I think it's getting harder because I've gained some weight so I can't just like up close, like take the picture, distort myself and not be a little bit roly poly. So it's a little bit harder. I think I'm gonna need to have somebody come in and take sexy photos of me. But that's just real life. You know, when you get a little thicker, sometimes you gotta work yourself a little more and there's no problems with showing rolls, but you don't, you, just because you are thick doesn't mean you're always having to show rolls. Do whatever you want. Okay, so I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna go to bed stinky. I'll probably just rinse off shower in the morning because I'm too tired. And then we'll start the day and I'm dragging you guys along with me. So welcome to the vlog. And if you're new here, don't be scared. I'm telling you, it's just above average day. That, that's usually me filming every day. Just, you know, sometimes average, above average, things like that. Okay, here we go. We're going, we're going. Well, I'm going to bed. You should be subscribing. No oh, kitty, my kitty. I got to go, kitty. Gotta continue my day. I know, you're cute. Peek, another kitty. That's Sierra. Yeah. Mm. just got done with the dentist. I'm still here, I'm about to drive away. I don't know where I'm gonna drive to because I have some errands to run and I have a shipment that I was told was coming today and now it says out for delivery. Estimated date to arrive is tomorrow. What does that mean? So there was a new dentist and I forgot my mom told me about him. He is so young, so cute, oh my gosh. He was a little different than my previous dentist. He's still there, but I got the new one today. And I mean, his hands were like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like literally like all in my mouth. I think it was because he was getting to know me for the first time. And as a dentist, he has to get to know all my teeth. But it was kind of like, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, reach for it. <laughs> he was cute. He looked like a boy who would be on The Bachelor. Yeah, I hope he doesn't see this. But I, I'm kind of bummed I didn't wear makeup. Uh, luckily I have a good tan going on, but at the same time, like I feel like especially without makeup, I look 12. And I was kind of in like a dorky outfit, like I'm wearing moccasins in the summertime. <laughs> I have poor foot circulation. Poor foot circulation. exactly what's about to happen whenever I'm here I'm always showing you guys a haul you showed me I show uh, I was shopping at a couple places and one of them was Party City and that's the fun place so I'm gonna show you that I just I don't need to show you what I bought at the grocery store at least not today so to start off with I got this huge gigantic bag and my reasoning for this was because there's a grocery store where you can get a discount if you bring your own bag and I hate accumulating all this plastic. Then I realized this is huge. <laughs> like this is going to be need to be filled maybe a quarter way before it gets a little dangerous putting all this food in here. Can you imagine like a little challenge like I want all my groceries in this bag. <laughs> 
that's a little extreme, but I figured I need some bags for the car that are reusable. What is it? it says party animal. Like, well, you can read, but like, look how cute it is. And it's a llama and it's purple. So that made sense why I bought that for me. I also bought another thing just for me. And it is these slides. I have not owned a pair of slides ever in my life. And these fit pretty good. Now I'm usually, um, a six, not usually a five, but I'm like a really small six and I have very, very narrow feet. So I didn't expect this seven, eight to work, uh, but I tried them on in store. Wait, I can just, I brought scissors here. I, they're mine now. I can just open them up. And I wanted, I do lots of like giveaways at my party, whether you win something or if it's a raffle prize. And I wanted to get these, but then I realized I don't really know people's sizes. Okay, they were $5. So they probably look a little smushed, but as you can see, they're just some cute flippy floppies to have that I'll probably put on display and never wear. And then I got these, and this isn't in particular to my party. I've just never seen these before. They are food covers. And my party's during the day, and so I know there's going to be flies, maybe some mosquitoes. I feel like the mosquitoes will just have a feast with me, not so much the food but anyway flies flies happen bees love sweet sugary stuff so look at these they're like little tents you can put on so this is something that i would save for every general party and then i got this decorative dec decorative fishing net this cracks me up whenever i get something where the name of it is just a descriptor <laughs> like when i go to dollar store i see them all the time and I bet you're thinking this is a party decoration because my theme is paradise. Leslie turns 26 in the tropics. I know, it's so cute. I came up with that. <laughs> but I don't think I'm going to be laying this across anything. If anything, I think that this should be draped over me and I could do like a sexy 90s Britney Spears photo shoot, kind of like the I'm a slave for you type vibe. Just where you look a little dirty but it's sexy and sticky. So uh, we'll see with that. Depending on how I go with this, you're gonna see later on my main channel and or Instagram. So just follow me on Instagram. You should be subscribing to this channel and my main channel so you guys keep up. But now jumping into what I actually got for the party, like the decorative and all that. Um, this is also kind of letting you know a bit of the theme here is I bought lots of black stuff. So these are just the tablecloths. I found black napkins, black plates. I didn't get black cups because I knew I already had some brightly colored, color. I didn't buy black cups because I knew I already had some brightly colored ones and I thought that would be a really cute pop with all this. Then I bought these two things, which I wanna keep, I really do, but I'm not going to because I need a prize for people who win like, a beer pong tournament. I don't know exactly what we're going to be doing, but everybody is over 21. And I think I'll put these together and just make them one prize. I really hope the winner is a girl. <laughs> you know what, some guy can win this and give it to me and I'd be so happy. This towel I think is so stinking cute. So this was $5 and this was $4. So that's about like, $10 value and I'm pretty cheap. So they're really living large by getting this. I also got these now hold up like from afar they probably look like those cheap lays people have at parties. No, I'm having a sophisticated party. This is not some little kid kitty bopper shindig thing, which it's fine. But as a 26 year old, I don't really want that. But then I saw these and look how they have different colors to them. And they're so soft and I loved how frayed they were. They're super frilly. And so I was thinking, you know what? I don't want people to be left out. I think it'd be fun if everybody could be wearing a lay. It just keeps it really cute and fun. So this one's kind of like the rainbow batch. And then I found like a blue twist, which I just found this, which I'm annoyed about. Wait, let me see, can I just cut that easily? I think I can. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so I figured this one's cool. This totally reminds me of tie-dye. And then sunset. I'm someone when people ask me, what's your favorite color? I'm like, my favorite color is the sunset spectrum. <laughs> so here that is. 
and I'm hoping there's a few left over because I think they're so cute and I want to give them away to people. And then I think the last thing I got from parties, I need to swallow it. When I get really excited, I talk so much that I forget to do that. It also sucks when it's on dates and I'm like salivating and like having it go out of my mouth. Anyway, so the last thing I got from Party City is this float. Now, apparently it has feathers in it and I found that super cool. This was pretty cheap too. I think this was only... Well, I put my receipt somewhere else. I think this was only about 10 bucks. If I can find links to any of this stuff real easy on Amazon too, because I don't know if does Party City work with Amazon? I think they could. Or, you know, I can sometimes find the same brand. I'll try to list it down below so it's really easy for you guys to get a shipment to you because you might be having a pool party in August. I don't know, it might be too late for your July babies having something. Anyway, so... They had another version where it was a ball that you could do and it was really brightly pink. And they also had a glitter ball, which was so cute. And those were cheaper, but at the same time, because I, I have a donut like this, I was thinking it'd be really cute to have two of these, um, what are they just called, rounded pool floats, because then two people can chill at the same time. Like, there was, there was, I don't need to go into depth. There was a lot of reasoning behind why I chose to get this one. I actually have a couple things that I still need to blow up. So if you're wanting to see my entire pool floaty collection, keep watching this video because I got to still blow some up and then set them up in the pool. And I'm really excited to see if I can finally fill up my gigantic pool with pool floats because they always look so wimpy in my pool because my pool is literally huge. I feel bad for my mom. It's really hard for her to take care of it. I do help, but I kind of complain a lot in the heat because I run really warm. And then the last thing I just got delivered today is a swimsuit that I'm going to be wearing. I was going to wear one of my old swimsuits, then I just told myself to treat myself, and it's bad. Now, I'm going to open this so you guys can see my reaction, but you better believe I'm not going to reveal what this swimsuit looks like. Um, at this you might not even see my reaction. This is really hard to open. But I will say, so I was really frustrated at first with Kulani Kinis. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, because it was signature required. I was like, oh no, like, I can't be home. I'm planning for this party. So then um, I had it sent to my post office. But then it was kind of weird how it was reading my post office address. And I'm also don't know, like I don't, have like a relationship with my post office I've been there a couple times uh, but I don't always interact with everybody so regularly so I don't know if there's like a weak link there this sounds so bad but I don't know if it was Kulani Keeney's delivery people like the DHL were bad or if my post office was bad either way they didn't sign for the shipment. And I was like, why? Why? This is so inconvenient for the customer. And I didn't want to, I do go public with some stuff, but I was like, I'm not going to go public with it. I don't need to be petty and like, I'm going to put this all over Twitter. But I did send them a private message and I ended it with, I feel like you should know my feedback because this just inconveniences me, the customer. And then I talked to a Danny who was so nice. I literally just saw her message pop up, her following up with me getting this order. And let's just move on. I just shout out to Danny. And because I figured there's, I found out there's a way to get rid of the signature only thing. I was like, okay, I can, I can order for them again. So it, how funny would it be if this ends up being the wrong swimsuit that I ordered? <laughs> okay, enough rambling. Okay. I'm gonna back it up. You guys can see the reaction. Ugh. Ooh. Okay, it's like in a little Ziploc. Oh, this is cute. Oh, it's just like little details there. That's cute though. What's this? Order confirmation. Wow, this build up for you guys is so intense. Oh, ooh, yes, this does look very cute. Oh goodness, yes, it, is. it looks like it's the right one. Oh yes, I bet this will fit me, oh man. Yes, that's so cheeky. I really hope my boobs look good in this too. I'm gonna go try on this swimsuit because I gotta know if I need to have a backup plan. It looks really promising, so cross your fingers. 
um, and I gotta go organize and clean. So we're just gonna transition to the next clip right now. Oh my gosh, I, I feel like you guys love it when I do the page one. So I'm gonna do the page flip transition. Wait, no, no, wait, wait. There you go. We had a cat scare. So last night I went over to take care of those cute little kitties you saw and one of them stopped eating. Was not interested whatsoever. And if you guys have ever raised an animal, I think it's more common like in a dog and a cat, that if they stop eating, some, something's wrong. Like you oftentimes have to take them to the vet, but sometimes they can be thrown off. So we're like, you know what? It's late at night. Let's not take her to the vet. Let's wait till tomorrow and then reevaluate. And this morning I went there and she ate just fine. It was such a relief. I had no problem with taking her to the vet, but it scares me because she's an old kitty that I don't want anything to happen in my hands. You know, it's just at all I wouldn't want anything to happen. So I was just so worried and sad about that. But it looks like because they had someone helping out around the house that it kind of stressed her out because she's a very skittish kitty. And so maybe that threw her off. We, we're not for sure. But since she was so hungry and back to normal today, not going to worry about it. Just, I can't. So I still had to go shopping a bit for my party, do a little bank deposit. I'm not going to bring you guys with me because this vlog is so much more fun without taking you around on my boring day. But I will say that this vlog has gone a little bit long. So I think I'm going to leave this off as a to be continued. And then you can watch the next vlog while I finish up getting ready for the party. So, okay, I hope you subscribe and I hope you like this vlog. Love you, mean it. Bye.